Hello scientists, I'm going to roast some bad AI scientific illustrations. Welcome to my channel. My name is John. I taught scientific illustration at the University of Amsterdam. I have gotten a lot of questions from students and clients about using AI for scientific publications. Use with caution because they can look very bad. The first one we're looking at is a anatomy illustration generated by AI. It is horrible. It looks like an alien specimen. What is this bone? There's supposed to be fibula and tibia. There's a mutation on this leg. This guy has an extra fibula. And not only that, the distal end of the bones articulates with phalanges. That is not how it works. It should connect to the talus. This is unacceptable. If you submit this to the journal, you will be blacklisted. There was a scandal regarding a AI generated illustration. It went super viral on the internet and that caused the retraction of the paper. The authors were disgraced and the reputation of the journal is tarnished. Another telltale sign of an AI generated graphic abstract is the text. This is not even English. We cannot see very clearly from this image, but we will see more in the next image. AI generated horror show of an oral microbium in centenarians. I learned this word just today. This means human beings over 100 years old. I don't think this is how their mouth would age into when they are over 100 years old. I hope this does not happen to myself because why does my lower jaw mutated into a symbiosis? Random teeth. What is this? This is like a sea urchin so <laughs> i really hope this doesn't happen to any centenarians this doesn't age well at least the spelling of the title is correct that is very rare for ai generated graphic abstract for Fiomonas. what is that what does that mean tonsil tonsils everywhere but there's no structure of tonsils this looks more like the mamma tissue in human breast this looks like bacteria and this looks like a rotten cucumber. When you buy those cucumbers from the supermarket in Europe, they are sealed in plastic bags. You forget about them in the fridge for too long. They will degrade into this type of wrinkly shape. And what is Protronus? I have no idea what that is. And a mistake in the labeling. This is a teeth not a ton. The only acceptable part is the upper palate. Uh, the teeth, let's count them if they're correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this guy still have their wisdom teeth. Oh, look, there's some, some tonsil stone in the tonsil. Disgusting. All right, let's move on. Okay, what did the researcher type into the AI program to get the rat picture? It seems that it's something testis related because uh, yes, we see testis. There's testis in the label. The entire testis is anatomically incorrect. Epidemis, uh, that's not where it is. So we see a cluster of sperm. Somehow it just assemble into a rat. I don't think this is how rats procreate. If this is how it happens, it is quite scary. Rats crawling out from the bowls. Maybe some crazy scientist in China is developing that. Some genetic modification to transfer transform testis into a womb so male can create their own offspring without women. Parthenogenesis, but a male version. If this graphic abstract is for that paper. It might be passable, but clearly it's not because I don't think there's such research going on. And again, all the labelings are pointing to the wrong anatomical structures. This is an instant rejection if you submit this along with your paper. Babe, wake up. New AI figures has dropped. Drug delivery strategy. I don't know what kind of disease it makes your lung blue. Let me know in the comments. Repurposed inhaled anti-cancer agents. All right, they look like, this doesn't look like an inhalant. This looks more like a vial for injection substrates. A broken capsule. Not sure how that is delivered into the body. All right, then AB drug conjugates. These looks more like viruses. So I don't think they 
can represent drugs that can cure you. This looks like they're going to give you another disease. Okay, pH sensitive carriers. The carriers as big as the lung. This definitely will cause breathing problems. Okay, lipid nano carriers nanoparticles okay this is passable but why is there a trachea piercing through a nanoparticle that's weird how big is the nanoparticle it should not be bigger than trachea okay, tyrosine kinase inhibitors uh this is not how the inhibitors look like this is also an instant rejection from the journal don't put illustrations like this into your paper most of the ai generated graphic abstract are quite bad they are not suitable for journal publications yet maybe in the future I do think the AI can develop quite quickly and uh, it might soon take over my job as a scientific illustrator. If it happens, I will definitely talk about it because I'll be losing all my clients. So I definitely will come up here and cry. Have you seen other horrendous AI images? Let me know in the comments. Remember to give a like to support the channel and I'll see you in the next video.